Hello and welcome to CAOT 113. I'm your instructor, Vladimir Peransky. And in this lesson, lesson eight, we're going to use the pen tool. And notice that I already have the image opened on the screen. And the pen tool, they tell you how to create this nice looking shape, right? Because it's not a circle, it's not a square, it's all orange. So it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to select. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these guidelines. Try not to use these guidelines. They're not gonna make a very good uh, demonstration of using the pen tool. And now I'm going to select the pen tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place as few points as possible on these inflection points where the, where the fruit is a little bit odd sized. This looks like a nice curve. This looks like a nice curve, right? And you know what? I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. So I can use the control key and move the point to the bottom right? like that. Go across and complete the line. So there's my basic selection, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Alt key after selecting the, I'm holding the Alt key, I'm selecting a point and I am drawing out the curve. See that? I'm just doing one side. You have two lines coming from this point, the left line and the right line. You can move the lines up and down for your selection, right? Just like that. See that nice curve, the way it flows? Now I'm going to do it for this side. And I'm going to adjust the lines so they match. And I'm going to go around. And you see the curve lines. You see what happens when you uh, do it in other sides. So these are ins and out points. So you can go ahead. This is the out point. This is the in point or the out point, whichever one you, whichever way you see, you see a line coming in, a line coming out. You see it where it's coming in. You can set it where it's going to come out. Notice that this one is going straight down and this one is going to make a curve. This point is going to help with that curve. There we go. Notice the curve is a little bit low. So let's go ahead and drag this line over to match that curve. Look at that. I'm going to leave these alone. This line is going to go straight up. This line is going to go here. This line is going to go here to give us a, a nice straight line, but somewhat of a straight line. This line needs to be like that. See that, just simple. I need to move this point over, so I'm going to select the, a left click, holding the control key, select the point, and I'm moving the point over a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna use the Alt key to give it its handles again. Just like that. And there we go. So we have this line adjusted a little bit. Adjust this line just a touch. There we go. And that looks good. Let me make sure that this line is good. And this line is good. So there is our selection. You can see that we created a path. When we go to the path layer, there's the working path, right? You can rename the path. And when you rename the path, that actually saves the actual path. So you can work with it um, in other ways. Right now, if I click off of it or I change something, 
that path will disappear. So they wanted to name it lemon. And there's our lemon path. Now, once you have a path, it's easy to select. All you have to do is click on this selection, load path as a selection. Okay, so we're on the path and we're gonna load the layer as a selection by clicking the load layer as a selection right down here, or load path as a selection. And we get this wonderful looking path, which is our selection. So the next, uh, the next thing they're gonna have us do is change the hue and the saturation. So when we're gonna change the hue and the saturation, you'll notice we're going to get an added panel or an added layer ins inserted in here. So go to uh, hue and saturations. Let's go to adjustment panel. Uh, I'm not seeing the adjustment panel uh, shown here. So I need to view the adjustments panel and let me just go, go ahead and go to windows and click on adjustments. There's my adjustment panel. And we want the hue and saturation, which is right here. And now you notice that the new layer has been added, the hue and saturation layer. Now we can make this into any color we want, right? We can make it an orange, we can make it more lemony. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a logo and we're gonna use a text tool. And let's go ahead and that's from a previous exercise. And I'm gonna use the horizontal text tool. And the text tool is uh, going to be <clears throat> 55 points. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 55 points. Notice there's no 55 on the menu. So I just have to come in here and type 55, right? And do they tell us they want Arial bold? So let's go ahead and choose Arial. And there's my bold right there, Arial bold. There we go. And 55 point size. And I'm just gonna click on the actual text anywhere. Uh, they tell you where to place the line. <clears throat> I'm not interested. I'm just gonna go ahead, change the color and go ahead and type um, citrus lane farms. Oh, notice it went over out of the page a little bit. So I can just go ahead, manipulate it just like this. Right? And there we have the actual name for the citrus farms. We're going to use the text tool and we're gonna adjust we're gonna adjust the um, uh, tracking a little bit and they wanted to adjust it by uh, negative 25. The text, negative two five tracking. So they wanted a little, a little bit squished, All right? So that's perfect. And they also wanted, uh, let's see, type type. They wanted all caps. The next thing they want us to do is they want us to come in, right? Let's go ahead and move this a little bit over to the left. Use the move tool. Let's go ahead and move that to the left. Kind of like that. I'm just basically eyeing it so it's centered from the left, centered from the right. Just kind of like, like either there or we can have it like this, right? Centered with the... Uh, it's orange. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna insert an existing shape. And we, in order to do that, we need to open up the shapes panel. And there's all these existing vector shapes that we have. And we're gonna select one of the shapes and we're gonna drag it. Uh, let's see, path, shape, there we go. Select the shape. Fill color, I want it bright yellow. Or if you want a different color, go ahead and click on this um, color, uh, color picker. And uh, let's see, I want a different color. I want, let's see how this looks. I kind of like this color better. Open up the styles window, right? So where's my styles window, there it is. 
In the style windows, we have different styles available to us, right? Let's make the style window a little bit larger. Uh, this is gonna give us the 3D image. See that it's giving us the 3D image of this. We can also apply a different style. For instance, we can make it look like, we, now first of all, let's go ahead and zoom in so you can see what is, how it's changing the, the image. There is our image. Now we can apply a wood image if you'd like, right? The 3D image is basically the shading right here. See that, the shading that we have? And this is how the wood looks, right? If you want a green, this is how it looks if it's green, beveled, right? So we can apply zebra print. These are some of the styles we already have. Maybe people like cheetah print, right? Or we can apply a blue a denim look, you know, apply maybe a leather look, right? A fabric woven look, right? A white fabric woven look. All of these different shapes we can do. I'm going to go back and I'm going to, uh, let me make sure the shadow is, there we go, there's the shadow. Zoom out and we have our picture. Now we can hold down the Alt key and make a couple of copies. One, now I'm gonna make it, let's make it four. I'm gonna see if I can fit four on here. Three, four. There they are, but they're not really centered really well. So let me see if I can center them a little bit better. <clears throat> let's use the move tool and move this a little bit more over. There we go. There we go. So there's the finished work that we have. And that's all there is to it. Um, I noticed they are dropping the opacity of all of these colors. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and use, let me close this out. Let's go ahead and basically close all the special effects, right? On all of these different layers. These are just the copies of the flower level layer, right? These are all the different copies of it. Right, you see all of them. There's one, another one, there's another one, and one more is right up here. I'm gonna go ahead and select all of them, and I'm gonna drop the opacity on all of them just a little bit just like they have it in the book. There it is. Uh, the, um, I didn't see how much to, to drop the opacity, so I'm just basically uh, dropping the opacity until I'm satisfied. There we go. And we can rename these layers as flower or whatever, and the project is complete. Remember to put your name on the project and submit it for lesson eight extra credit. Those of you who are using an older book, Go ahead and complete the mug picture. Um, the file is included in the description of this assignment. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.